Jesse Jackson's crude remarks about Barack Obama this week has put him in a clubhouse with a lot of other political figures whose private comments were aired in public. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plan has more this morning for us. Good morning, Bill. Morning, Chris. The lesson, beware the open mic. The Reverend Jesse Jackson was in the Fox News studio, but not on television, when he made the remark about Obama. He was whispering, and he probably assumed that his mic was not on. If it's any comfort to Jackson, he's certainly not the first public figure to let down his guard in front of an open mic. My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you today that I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin bombing in five minutes. That was President Reagan joking during a mic check before his Saturday radio broadcast. The Russians weren't amused. He wasn't either when he found out the mic was open. But an open mic is one way to learn what someone really thinks. Here's President Bush in 2000 talking about a New York Times reporter. And if you've ever wondered how world leaders really talk to each other at those fancy summit meetings, listen to this. What they need to do is get Syria to get Hezbollah to stop doing this. Politico's John Harris says trash talking is just human nature, but catnip for reporters. That's why they're uh, they're both fun and actually quite illuminating for us in the press. They give us some sense of what's really going on uh, inside a politician's head, like uh, what he really thinks. But and some people who are around microphones all the time really should know better. You dumb son of a. <laughs> what can I say? I mean. Everybody has a camera these days, and half the nation's on YouTube, so watch out. Yeah. Chris? <laughs> CBS's Bill Plan. Watch it. <laughs> All right, Bill, thanks so much.